Hello my dear friends, today I wanted to show you why Wasteland 3 should be popular, should be played and why it's rather underrated game amongst the players. And the best way to show you that, that it will be probably to start a little bit of adventure. Over here, and this is for the food. I don't like he isn't that something. It must be a bug! My turn! <laughs> My turn is finally over! <laughs> uh. Or is it? Okay, this is 69% and she missed 4 times in a row. <laughs> but this game is shit. <laughs> Don't fucking play. <laughs> hey, tired of your turn? Give it to someone else. I don't worry. I was hoping it would be a little bit better. Hey, but at least songs will last. 
Seriously, he started with that. Holy shit, that was so fucking bad. So he is special attacks. Shaolin something that cost 2 AP to start fucking combat. It works better when you stack bunch of attacks on top of NCC. And later of course to prove that he could fucking stack attacks, he attacked him once. Which is criminal offense. If you ask. I worry nobody will like that. But I don't care. Imagine ending your turn just because you lost a key. When the Patriarch came east to put us down, we gave him more than he bargained for. Stopped him cold. I know he tells his people he secured his <laughs> borders by beating us. Makes himself out a real hero. Bullshit. He made a deal. Gave the Scar Collectors, Piasos, and Godfishes money and supplies to hunt east and keep the smaller gangs out. He kept the peace in Colorado by sicking the gangs on his neighbors? That ain't right. Yep. Not right for the neighbors. And not right for me. Worst bargain I ever <laughs> made. Security is the enemy of ambition. Got so used to having the Patriarch hand me my living that I forgot my destiny. Yeah. The Ironclad basically have his stupid fucking way of thinking, where he thinks that hardship, uh, you, you know, even just for the sake of hardship, make you stronger and other shits. I personally disagree, but I also live in a rather developed society, so I don't exactly know what is on the other side. mother I was born to make the Wakarusa Red Legs the greatest horde in Kansas was going to use the scar collectors to unite the Colorado gangs then lead them home to take what's mine but the deal with the patriarch made me lazy and destiny's a jealous bitch ignore her and she'll have her revenge another Buchanan after Liberty failed to take her daddy's throne, she ran our way. Realized pretty soon she could turn our gangs against us by telling them about the deal we made with her father, which we'd kept secret. Hmm. She told him we'd settle for table scraps when we could have had the whole of Colorado. That we'd become guard dogs when we could have been kings. Which was the truth. So the gang grows up. Star the dreams over through clouds drifting west to lead the godfishers. Let Chirito kill Slapstick to take the Payasos. And that rat steel trap jumped me and sold me to a bauxite mine. Now he's running the Scar Collectors. Yeah, well, when I played now, Cloud Drifting West was prisoner in the cell. Star the dreams. Yeah, I, I recognize him. When, when you played the game once, you recognize these names and know what he's talking about. Not for long. Uh, 
Another stupid mistake. Wasn't hard escaping the mine, but then I ran to Buchanan. Asked him for help taking back the Scar Collectors. Promised him I'd capture his daughter for him, brain in the gangs. He told me I was weak and useless. Threw me in here. Well, I was weak. I let him distract me from my destiny with easy living. Now I'm back on track. And he will die for seducing me. <laughs> so yeah, you have like deep characters, deep conversations, morals, inter, uh, interjecting dialogues. It's pretty, pretty cool stuff. Games get interesting for you know about it, but you don't have to care. If you want, you can click through all this shit. And then, uh, if game capture you long enough, you might start reading this bullshit, listening to it. If not, you will still have fun. Once I take back the gangs from Liberty, I'll lead them east, away from your pretty little city, and use them to once again become ruler of the Wakarusa Redlegs, and then all of Kansas, as was ordained. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing I gotta do before I leave Colorado. Put the patriarch's head on a spike. Yeah, we are not taking them back here violently. If you want that too, maybe we can walk the same path for a time. What do you say? Could you use another gun? Uh, he is extremely cool and he has shotgun for an arm and also he let you interact with gangsters in a way that uh, not not only they literally shit themselves when they see him, <laughs> but also you can kind of peacefully walk among them.